Here we go. Okay. Now this, this is a legacy dungeon. Can I just jump down there? Again, I'm pretty sure lava just deals minor damage to you, right? Fantastic. It absolutely doesn't. God, lava's so shit. Remember when lava used to kill you? Remember when that remember when that was a thing? This is an incredibly irritating fight. Like, what the hell? Why did they put this guy here? Where do I go from here? Because I jumped down to get here, so there must be a way back, but I have no idea where that way back would be. This is really perplexing me. I am I am well and truly bamboozled. I can get over there on the lava. Let's do that. I'm gonna need to wait for my health to come back though. By the way, I said nothing interesting was going on on YouTube, but that was actually a lie. Hang on, let me uh I'm gonna leave this game playing in the background um, and I'm quickly going to, you'll have noticed the music's disappeared. I'm gonna show you guys because one of my videos, for the first time this week, first time ever, and in fact the second time ever, one of my videos hit over a thousand views. I don't understand how the YouTube algorithm works. Yeah, for some reason, one of my videos caught the algorithm and then the next video caught the algorithm even harder and then it went back to normal. This, this, is how, this is how the back end of YouTube looks. This is, this is what my videos look like on the channel. And we can see here, this video, exploring the Halig tree, got 32 views. And then this video <laughs> got 1,052. And then this one is on 1,700 and is still ticking up at a reasonable rate. There's a videos yet to come, by the way. Woohoo, look at this, this is exciting. But there we go, I'm up to Malekith in terms of my editing. Yeah, this thing was published over a week ago. And like half the views on the video were in the last two days. I, I don't understand. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that, since that's firstly a good way to fill the three minutes it takes for my health to get full, and secondly, because I was like, oh, nothing interesting is happening on YouTube, and that's a lie, because that's an interesting thing, for me at least. Also, I guess that dates this video, for this recording, for anyone who's uh, watching this, because I'm going to edit this, and put this on YouTube as one of, my, uh, as like one of the bonus videos. Um, after the entire series is done. I'm gonna do this and then there's gonna be another one. This one might be two videos depending on how long it takes me to get through Volcano Manor. That's not Alexander, is it? I think that's like an angry pot. Yeah, it's an angry pot. Well, fuck that up. God. Damn that death animation. I was hoping this would be some sort of way out. Doesn't look like it is. Oh, no, never mind. The path continues. This probably is a way out then. Okay, and here we are. I seem to remember coming through here. Yes, I've killed a bunch of dogs here, so I absolutely have been through here. Okay, so well, uh, I could press on with fuck all health, or I could go back to a bonfire and heal, which would absolutely be the sensible thing to do. However, I don't like redoing content, so fuck it, we're pressing on. Yeah, so this is where I jumped off, isn't it? This is where I jumped down. Cool. So this is exactly where we got to. We don't need to check down there, because we already have, and we can just keep going. Are you fucking kidding me? Is this the do not open from the side door that I couldn't open and I need I just needed to Oh my fucking god. I could have just opened this like right in front of me. God Jesus Christ. Oh also there's a bon also there's a bonfire here. What the fuck? Okay, fine. Now then I would rest to that, but I actually don't know what the way to proceed is. Am I supposed to Did I miss something else this way? Seriously, I'm confused. I I feel like I have no more pathways to explore. I feel like the whole dungeon is leading me down into this area and then it just stops. Also, my camera's gone. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yes, of course it has. Oh, what the fuck? I just didn't attack. I just pressed the attack button and didn't attack. I've, no I've noticed that a few times. There seems to be, I don't know if it's an issue with my controller or if it's an issue with this game, but I've had quite a few problems where uh, I've been in a situation and I press the attack button, or, or any action button really, and simply nothing has happened. Input issues in ER have been reported widely, not healing is a big one. Yeah, I've, I was going to say, I've, I've noticed that. It's not just healing, it's attacking as well. Um, I haven't really found situations where not rolling is an issue, but certainly not using an item and not attacking is something that's come up a fair few times. And not jumping as well, actually. There's been a fair few times. There's been situations where I've literally just walked off a fucking edge because I pressed the jump button and my character didn't jump. I wonder, I think I must just be missing something really obvious. I don't think this is supposed to be this hard to find. I guess, my guess would be that it's just, there's just a fucking ladder somewhere or something. Can you chill? Oh. Okay, well. I guess that's my bad for assuming things, huh? 
apparently the area with the lift that goes down to the magma worm, the other lift there goes up. I just saw the two lifts and assumed they both went in the same direction. Yeah, I never would have, uh, never would have thought of that. Because that one's the one down to the magma worm, so is this one, this one goes up, is it? Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, I guess it doesn't make sense for that one to go down, because it would just descend into lava. Oh well. Like, yeah, I did see the other lift, I just assumed that it went in the same direction. Um, like I say, I don't really know why I assumed that, thinking about it. It just, it was just because they were in the same place and they had the same design. Okay, cool, and we are across, oh. Is this the fucking Godskin Noble? Because that looks like a boss arena. We're going to do the Godskin Noble now? Yeah, there's no way this isn't a boss, right? Yeah, okay. Look at that. Hey, buddy boo. Been, I haven't fought a Noble with this character yet, so this could be interesting. Okay, this is a rough spot to be in. I probably should have tried to get out of the Black Flame, thinking about it. All things considered. Yeah, fine, you can poke me. No, don't poke me twice. Poke me once, because then I net gain hell. Oh, well, okay. He went in on that. You are glitching out, sir. Oh, my attacks are so slow. I don't know what openings he has that I can actually take advantage of, you know? I do a lot of damage, though, to be fair. Am I just trading blows? Are we just going full trade? I think full trade makes sense here. Yeah. Okay, phase two. Yeah, we deal enough damage that we can sort of trade fairly handily. Just don't get comboed. <laughs> I was thinking, can we get him stuck on a pillar? That seems good. Are you going to stop, sir, or what? There we go. Guess he got bored. Oh, is he doing that again? Oh, no. Yeah, no, he's doing it again. God, this is such a glitchy attack in this arena, man. I just have to stay close to this pillar and he can't get me. <laughs> oh, fuck, he got me. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're just going to be able to trade him to death. There's a lot more sort of, I guess, compulsory trading in Elden Ring than there has been in previous games, it feels like. Certainly when you're wielding slow weapons. Like, you, it, it just seems like so many enemies, you don't have the option to, like, to just fight them legit. You have to kind of trade with them a lot of the time. Maybe that's because I'm missing something or because there's some tactics or whatever, but yeah, it, 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 it's odd. I swear that hasn't been the case in a lot of previous FromSoft games. Yeah, I'm surprised. This area's been relatively linear so far. I mean, I did a bunch of exploring because I got super confused about where I was supposed to go. But in the end, it was the place where I thought I was supposed to go. Uh, that, that was where, how you were supposed to proceed. I just didn't realize that elevator took you somewhere else. And then beyond there, it's been pretty much a straight shot. So either I'm missing some stuff or this dungeon is actually a little more linear than some of the previous ones. Oh, this looks like a spicy one. I mean, he's not going to get to be a spicy boy because we're going to kill him in two hits and stagger him while we do so, but, you know. Hey, I, he, he was probably capable of something incredibly terrifying. Not my fault, he sucks. Is there anything worth... See, this is the problem. Like, if this wasn't so stupid and slowing and damaging and stuff, I'd want to wander into the middle. Now, this, this lump here feels like it's a thing. So I'm going to walk to the big lava lump and see if anything happens. Like, if something bursts out of the big lava lump to attack me. Because you don't normally just get big lava lumps like this. I don't think. I'm not a volcanologist. Maybe you do. Am I going to die if I get, like, into the deep lava? Or is this just still fine? Wow. Wow. Is it just fine? What the fuck? Also, this isn't anything. There's just a lava mound here. That's just here for the sake of being here, I guess? What? Okay, fine, fine, fine. I guess I'll walk all the way back. The backwards to- oh, okay. You are absolutely right. Fantastic. It's like Legend of Zelda all over again. Oh, look at this guy. He's gonna spit fire, 100%. Oh my god, he does so much damage. Oh, he spits poison. Okay, never mind, I'm completely fucking wrong. Also, if remember, I have no way of curing poison, so we just have to put up with this health. Is that a fucking snake king with a giant, like, neck sack? Is that what that is? That's what that looks like. Oh my god, look at this guy. Look at this guy. No wonder he gets to be king. Look how big his fucking sack is. Holy hell. Where's his actual head? Or is that his whole head? Oh, damn. I figured his head would be above that somewhere, but I can't see it. Huh. 
Ah, okay, that's kind of bizarre. He just had a giant ball for a head. I thought it was a, a neck sack that was swollen up and his, he would have like a tiny little silly head on top of it, but he did not. Interesting, so that's a teleportal. Now, one question I do have is how do we get to Rykard from here? Because Rykard seemed like he was in a sort of isolated area. It's possible that that portal is just going to take me straight to Rykard. Uh, okay, what the fuck is this? Oh my god, okay. We're doing some platforming, guys. Fuck off. I just heard that. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. Yeah, a little fucking spell casty boy. Okay. I want to explore properly. Unfortunately, that's going to be difficult to do with that guy pinging me. Um, well, uh, difficult indeed. Oh, is this the platform that that guy was attacking me from before? Ooh, I think it was. Okay, cool. Dagger Talisman. Okay. Enhances, increases the power of critical hits. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Do you get special animations? Because in the older games, there was, um, there was the Hornet Ring that did exactly the same thing, but it gave you special animations on your backstabs and crits. Like, each weapon had, like, a special secondary animation for the Hornet version of the crit. Um, and that was, that honestly was the coolest part about the Hornet Ring, was the fact that it gave you the extra animations. Yeah, we're not getting them souls back, are we? Oh, definitely not. Oh, is this going to be one of the... Yeah, it's another seedbed curse. Okay. So that stone sword key is used to access one of the, the Dung Eater's seedbed curses. I wonder how many of those there are, because I really didn't find many in my playthrough. I found like three. There's six. So I did miss a few then, if there's six, because I think I found three. And then there's this one, which would make four. Funny thing is, I'm not actually that fussed about doing the specific endings. One thing that I kind of... One thing that I really liked about Sekiro that I was kind of hoping they'd bring back is ending exclusive boss fights. It's not even an ending exclusive cinematic. The Dung Eater ending is just a variant on Repair the Elden Ring anyway. Okay, sure. Yeah, I think I saw that. I think the only two which have exclusive cinematic are um, Rani's ending and the Frenzied Flame ending, right? Yeah. And then, yep. Yep, this is Rykard. Okay. Uh, to close off this segment, let's go do Rykard. Now we devour the gods together. One thing I was informed of that I had been missing previously, where is the bloody halberd, is that the, um, the two-handed weapon attack with this weapon, uh, the, like, the weapon art has, has a combo. And I was just, like, not finishing off the combo. Okay. Clearly I'm out of practice at this boss. However, my damage is pretty fucking high, so it doesn't matter too much. You know, I really should get some poison curing uh, bonuses, shouldn't I? Oh my god, I'm doing so much more damage with this weapon than my previous character was, I think. Yeah, what does it scale with? I guess strength? Again, do not understand how it is possible for a fucking poison spit attack to break a solid pillar, but fine, I guess that's how this works. If that's how they scripted it, that's how they scripted it, I guess. Oh, that was pretty impressive. Okay. What the fuck is happening? Okay, I, I can't see a fucking thing. Am I against a wall? No, I'm against one of these weird pillars. That was very confusing. So let's try the weapon arm. Oh, okay. Yeah, it does have a combo. And it deals shitloads of damage. Holy crap. No wonder someone commented that I wasn't using it. Because <laughs> it deals a fuck ton of damage. On the second blow. I keep getting stuck on these fucking pillars, man. I'm not pleased with that. Oh, got him. Just got him. Oh, shit, yeah, hang on. Rykod's got that super move that I never figured out how to, uh... How to deal with. Oh well. You can upgrade the Serpent Hunter FYI just in case you missed it. Yeah, no, no, I know you can upgrade it. That makes sense. 
but um like i guess i never thought about upgrading it uh but i don't really i don't think i really need to this character deals a lot of fucking damage with it regardless and right card's pretty damn slow poke 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 everyone loves the big old triple poke okay Let's, uh, let's do the super move. I guess I should have done that while he was still stunned, right? Oh my god, look at that fucking damage. Holy crap. I should, maybe I should get a blue flask. If I die, I think I should get a blue flask, because that damage is so fucking high, man. It's the ability to do it more often would be pretty, pretty damn good. Look at fucking Rykart, just taking L's left, right, and center, man. He hasn't got any significant attacks off. Has he summoned the skulls yet? It looks like the skies are red, but the skulls haven't actually been summoned. Because I don't I don't think he's had the opportunity. I think he's gonna try to. There we go. Can I kill him before he gets the skulls off, do you reckon? Because he's he's tried like three times. <laughs> wow, okay. He didn't even get to his skull attack. He didn't even get to his skull attack. That is fantastic. You can just fucking stun lock bobble his head. That is that is beautiful. So that will be the end of the first either bonus video or series of bonus videos, depending on how I've edited this. That was Volcano Manor. It was fun. It was a decent legacy dungeon. Don't know how much was in there that I missed. But overall, pretty solid. Unfortunately, I was a little over-leveled. But the next video is going to be something a little bit special because, you see, I feel like I didn't really get the true Melania experience by taking her on as quite a high-level range character. So, I have two melee builds right now. One of them is actually at Melania. The other one is this one, who still needs to go through the mountaintops of the giants and then through the Halig tree. But I'm going to be doing that on stream. I'm not going to bother turning that into a video. I'm just going to do that on stream. And so the next video you're going to see is going to be my attempts at Millennia with a melee character with both this strength character that you've been seeing and my other character, which is a dexterity-based katana build. So, look forward to that, and I'll see you in the next video.